Hello and welcome to O Worm. Today we'll be taking a look at the anatomy of the scorpion. So the first thing you might notice are these large claws, which lobsters and crabs also have. Scorpions are related to lobsters and crabs. They're all part of the phylum Arthropoda. However, scorpions are actually even more closely related to spiders. Both are part of the subgroup Arachnida. One of the common characteristics these animals share is having eight legs, unlike insects that have six legs. This means that scorpions are arachnids, not insects. However, insects are their favorite food. So let's take a look at the external anatomy. The body of the scorpion is covered by a chitin exoskeleton. Chitin is a tough, protective, flexible molecule made of polysaccharides and nitrogen. The scorpion's exoskeleton acts like our skeleton by providing support, muscle attachment sites, and etc. The scorpion can be divided into two parts, or tegmata. So the head, right here, also called the cephalothorax, and the abdomen, which is everything else. The abdomen can also further be divided into the pre-abdomen, here, and the post-abdomen, which is here. This single unsegmented plate that covers the head is called the carapace. The scorpion has two large claws with pincers at the end, here and here, which are called the pedipalps. Each pincer has a fixed claw and a movable claw, as you can see here. So this one is the fixed claw, and the other one here is the movable claw. You can see the hinge where it moves right here. They also have eight walking legs. So one, two, three, four, and here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Now here's this long tail, which is also called the metasoma. It has five segments. One, two, three, four, five. There's a venom deposit near the end, this white bulb here, which is called the telson. The telson is a vesicle-like organ that stores the poisonous glands. And of course, the stinger, right here, also called the aculus. The venom travels from the telson to the stinger and is injected into the victim's body. Scorpions have several eyes. Two of them are at the top of the head here, called the medial eyes. And two to five additional pairs are at both front sides. And these are harder to see, but they're called the lateral eyes. Despite their many eyes, scorpions do not have good eyesight. Their eyes can distinguish between light and dark, and maybe movements, but are useless when recognizing shapes. In contrast, their sense of smell is very well developed, and they use it to identify their prey and to detect dangers. Now at the very front of the cephalothorax are these two small appendages. And these claw-like structures that protrude from the mouth are called chelicerae, and they're basically the scorpion's jaws, holding the prey while the scorpion eats. Now I'm going to turn the scorpion over. Now these two plates below the chelicerae are called the gonathobases, and they chew the food. Now before the scorpion actually eats the food, the midgut produces enzymes that flood onto the food. Breakdown of the food begins before the scorpion actually eats it. Then, the scorpion sucks the liquefied food into the gut. Now, this plate in the middle here, right here, is called the sternum. Below the sternum is a pair of plates called the genital opercula. In females, these two plates are separate, while in males, they're fused to form a single plate. So you can see that this scorpion is male because it has a single fused plate. Now below that, you can see these structures right here. And these comb-like structures are called pectines, and they're used to sense chemicals and movements. Now along the abdomen, you might be able to see these tiny holes in each segment. So here's one, here's another, and here's a few more. Right here, 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 and here. And these are called spiracles, and that's where air enters the scorpion's body for gas exchange. 
So the scorpions don't breathe through their mouths, they breathe through these little holes. The scorpion, like many arachnids, actually have a type of lung called a book lung. Book lungs consist of a series of thin plates that look like the pages of a book. So these spiracles would open up into the book lungs. Now most preserved scorpions are too small to be able to see the internal anatomy without a dissecting microscope. So we'll have to stop at the external anatomy for this one. I that's the end of the scorpion dissection. Thanks for staying lads. Here's a fun fact about scorpions to send you on your way. All scorpions glow fluorescent green under ultraviolet light, such as an electric black light or natural moonlight. This is a really easy way to spot scorpions in the dark. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.